Okay, we're here with Mickey Gallagher, the head pro at Trump Bedminster, previewing the 99th Met Open. Mickey, talk about the conditions of the golf course, how it's kept in such great shape. It's such a large property. Tell me a little bit about how you guys keep it in such great shape. Well, it certainly is a large property. We're actually on 535 acres, and uh, most of which is actually golf course and maintained golf course. Uh, Rob Wagner, our director of grounds, does a phenomenal job, he and his team. Um, you know, it's, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Mr. Trump puts forth uh, the best product possible. And uh, so, you know, we, we as staff members and management team just do everything we can do to make sure that we provide that product. So he gives us all the necessary uh, tools and uh, resources to do so. And fortunately, as you can see, this uh, beautiful uh, property uh, we're doing so. So we certainly owe it to Mr. Trump for that. You guys got a lot of huge events coming to Trump Bedminster in the future. Met Open next week. U.S. Women's Open, you have a PGA in 2022, awesome future ahead of you guys. How do you prepare for events like these and overall they're a positive experience for the entire club? They really are, you know, and certainly again, uh, we owe it all to, uh, to Donald Trump for uh, having this big vision and it's certainly all come to fruition now. He started this property 12, 13 years ago and had this vision for all the championships you just mentioned. And, you know, the membership is certainly all behind it, the staff, uh, we love, uh, you know, delivering the services for all these championships and uh, at the end of the day it's wonderful for the club it's wonderful for golf in New Jersey and you know New Jersey and the New York metropolitan area is certainly synonymous with championship golf so we're very fortunate to be a part of it um, as far as preparing for these championships again it all goes back to the facility having uh, the acreage that we have in the uh, two championship golf courses and the practice facilities that we have um, you know in all honesty it really doesn't take too much so all the most of the prep work if you will has been done years ago in building this property that we uh, were now so fortunate to enjoy. We've heard Mr. Trump's very excited for this event. Do you know how involved he'll be? Will he be here uh, all three days throughout the week? Uh, do you know his involvement? He, he will certainly be here for the championship. There's no question about that. This has been uh, something that he has wanted for quite some time. And I think the mark that he has made on golf over the last, you know, four or five, six years, he's been involved more than that, but certainly in the last three to five years, um, you know, he's certainly getting his, uh, his due. Uh, again, he's had a huge vision. He loves golf. He has a passion for it. And you can certainly see that when, on weekends when he's out here enjoying the club. So, uh, again, he, um, he deserves this and uh, for everything that, uh, for the vision that he's had. So, uh, so we're happy for him and uh, we certainly look forward to uh, carrying off a great med open for you. Now, all these upcoming championships will all be on the old course. Course, correct that is correct so what separate I know the new course is just as nice but what separates the old course is kind of the premier 18 on the, on the property you know that's a great question that certainly has been posed many times uh, again we're very fortunate to have two championship golf courses you know back in 09 when we hosted the USA boys and girls junior amateur championships uh, both golf courses were uh, were utilized and matter of fact the uh, championship matches were actually on the new golf course so um, you know it's really it's hard to really say I mean but you know I think as we sit right here and you can see uh, the old course has the luxury of wrapping itself around, especially the finish with 15, 16, 17, 18, right here around the clubhouse. And with the finish with 16, 17, and 18, you have a par 3, a par 4, and a par 5 that's going to create quite a bit of excitement with the water hazards. You can make 18 a risk-reward par 5, 17 can be a risk-reward uh, drivable uh, par 4. So I just think at the end of the day, the old course just sets itself up for a, for, for a very exciting uh, finish for a championship. It's a very difficult course, too. Do you see anyone going crazy low? There's a lot of good players. What do you think? Oh, 54 holes. What do you think uh, the number will be to get the job done? Well, I myself am very curious to see that as well. But, you know, again, I think with uh, knowing the championships that we've had in the past, uh, you mentioned certainly quite a few of them, but we've also hosted other local and regional events for the uh, New Jersey State Golf Association, the New Jersey PGA. So, you know, scores have never been that low here by any stretch, and it certainly depends on how you, the MJ, ends up setting the golf course up. But personally, I think uh, knowing the condition that the golf course is going to be in for the championship, uh, I personally think around even par will definitely win. Toughest part of the golf course, you know, the greens look like they're pretty fast from here. You know, do you have to hit the fairway? What, what do you think is the key to, to winning here? Honestly, I actually think it's going to be the individual that has the most patience. This is a very difficult golf course, as we've mentioned already. Again, I don't think the scores are going to be that low. Um, you have to strategize yourself around the golf course. So, you know, I think any one particular part of the golf course, there's a lot of holes that are very demanding from a driving, driving the golf ball standpoint. Uh, there's some severe green complexes. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just think it's the individual. It's not going to try to uh, overpower the golf course and just uh, be patient and just play their game and, uh, and don't force anything to happen. Because I think once you try to start forcing things around the old golf course, that's when it can go uh, sideways. We know you're in the field. How do, you, how do you feel about your game and, and your chances at, at your home course? 
Well, I mean, again, I mean, the Met Open is one of the uh, premier events in the entire country, and, and we know how many great players there are in the uh, metropolitan area. And, you know, you look at the trophy and you know who many of the past champions are. I'm just honored to be playing. I've been fortunate to have qualified in the past to play. Uh, I'm exempt as the host professional. So it's just uh, it's an honor for me to be uh, to be a part of it and to tee it up. And if I play well, great. If I don't, it's still just going to be a wonderful uh, enjoyment time uh, just being a part of the Open. Okay, Head Pro Mickey Gallag Gallagher, thank you for your time and good, good luck at the Meadow. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.